very good evening shall we start the class ah very very fine how are you tomorrow we have that uh, exam is there okay please attend the exam this is the grand test okay physics mathematics physics chemistry biology okay so every subject uh, math only 20 remaining subjects is a uh, 10 10 physics 10 chemistry 10 biology 10 very uh, important bits only so subject related bits only once you can attempt it yesterday where we have did, uh, stopped uh, transmission this is over uh, uh, this uh, prevention of the infectious disease today we will discuss yes Ah. So, prevention of the infectious disease, okay, airborne microorganism can be prevented by providing living condition which are not uh, overcrowded. So, actually in the, some of the schools, schools uh, this is the corona time also you know very well, most of the people if that crowded, we are uh, infectious diseases uh, spread from the one person to the another person very easily. So, that is why limited people is there, that is the not, uh, airborne diseases cannot spread from one person to the another person. So, that is why limited seats are required, okay. So, that is why in the corona time, cinema theatres are closed, pubs are closed, hotels are closed and restaurants are closed, okay. So, which of the more people is available that people to that places are banned. So next, uh, waterborne microorganism can be prevented by providing safe drinking water. So which of the diseases caused by the water like uh, cholera, typhoid, biotis. So that water you can boil and you can kill, uh, you can cool it then if you are safe drinking water prevented to that uh, waterborne diseases. Yes or no? Next, uh, Vector borne diseases can be prevented by providing clean environment. So now coming to the point what I am saying, airborne diseases, how to we can prevent uh, airborne diseases? Airborne microorganism can be prevented by the providing, uh, providing living condition which are not overcrowded. Limited people is there, then we can control that uh, airborne diseases. Waterborne microorganism can be prevented by the providing safe drinking water. So that water you can boil and cool it, then you can drink, we are free from that waterborne diseases. Vectorborne diseases we can prevent it by the providing of the clean environment in our surrounding clean and green, then we are free from the vector. And public hygiene is a basic step in the prevention of the infectious disease. Proper and sufficient food is the necessary for the immune system to work properly. Immunization through the vaccine. Nowadays, uh, everything, uh, corona vaccine, if you are taking only allowed to that everything facility, we can provide to that government of India also giving to the provide to that all the facilities from the government. So that's why, so these are the steps in our surroundings, clean and green. If you are going to the washroom, hand your wash, uh, wash your hands with the data drink plenty of the water, drink, uh, okay, plenty of the water, 5 to 6 liters of the water per a day, leafy vegetables you can eat, hot, hot items you can eat, physical exercise is very important, okay, so next, uh, sufficient amount of the sleep also very important, okay, eat all nutritious food, okay, these are the clean your surroundings, neat and clean, then we are free from the disease. Next, uh, immunization and vaccine. What is the meaning of the immunization? Immunization is the protection of uh, individual from communicable diseases by administration of a suspensions of the dead microorganism. Actually, immunization, if you are taking to the vaccine, if you are taking to the vaccine, so then that vaccine is actually which of the disease causing organism which of the um, disease causing, uh, that disease causing organism we can collect and kill it and then we are taking to the uh, vaccines. So actually in our blood, white blood cells, some 
foreign materials are entered in our body so that way they can increase their number then that time if you are taking to the vaccine we are free from the diseases yes or no next next vaccine is a biological preparation that improves the immunity to a particular disease after inoculation okay so vaccines is a biological preparation uh, that uh, improve the immunity to a particular disease after inoculation example smallpox vaccine was the first vaccine developed against smallpox by the edward jenner so hence he is called father of the immunology who is the father of the immunology edward jenner is the father of the immunology what he discovered edward jenner is the discovered to the vaccine for the smallpox so you know very well in the first world war and second world war time most of the people they are suffering from the smallpox nowadays anybody suffering from the smallpox totally this smallpox disease is eliminated from our country because of the vaccination if you are taking so that's why we can prevent to the disease so who is the father of that vaccine who is the father of the immunology edward jenner is the father of the immunology who is the father of the immunology edward jenner who is the father of the biology who is the father of the biology aristotle is the father of the biology aristotle is the father of the biology who is the father of the immunology edward jenner is the father of the immunology what he discovered vaccine for the small parts is it clear hmm. next coming to the point marshall and warren received the nobel prize for the physiology and medicine in the 2005 as they discovered the bacteria causing peptic ulcer and its treatment so you know very well so this is the warren warren and marshall actually ulcers are caused by the helicobacter pylori helicobacter pylori so this helicobacter pylori is the causing to the peptic ulcers who are the causing to the peptic ulcer helicobacter pylori helicobacter pylori was the responsible for the peptic ulcer so robin warren okay robin warren and he is belongs to the pathologist study of the diseases from the pet australia so these are the small curved bacteria in the lower part of the stomach in many patient he noticed that sign of the inflammation were always present around this bacteria next barry marshall a young clinical fellow became interested in the warren's finding and succeed in the cultivating the bacteria from the source so these are the two scientists okay for this achievement marshall and warren received the nobel prize for the physiology and medicine in 2005 what is the highest prize in the world what is the highest prize in the world nobel prize is the highest prize Nobel Prize is the highest prize in the world. What is the highest prize in India? Padma Bhushan Nata. Bharat Ratna is the highest prize in the India. Second highest prize? Padma. No, no, no. Padma Sri, Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan. okay so padma vibhushan is the second highest and padma bhushan is the third highest fourth highest is the padma sri in our country india highest prize is the bharat ratna okay bharat ratna okay so now coming to the point what a father of the immunology is the edward jenner marshall and warren discovered that peptic ulcer helicobacter pylori is the causing to the peptic ulcer both of them they are causing to the nobel prize in the 2005 in the medicine department okay 
Helicobacter pylori was the responsible for the peptic ulcer which caused the ACGT related pain and bleeding in the stomach and duodenum. So these are the main important points. Now some again important points they are given once you can see. Health. What is that? Health. Health means what? Health is a state of being well enough functioning physically, mentally, socially with optimum efficiency. So that means if you are a healthy person, if you are social, physically, mentally, socially well being, then you are physical healthy person. Okay. So for example, if you are not concentrate on that lesson, you are you not a healthy person. Okay. What is the definition of the health? Health is a state of being well enough functions of the physically, mentally, socially with the optimum efficiency. Optimum efficiency is called health. Health. Next. Disease. What is the meaning of the disease? Disease is a disturbed ease. So, disease means disturb ease. In other words, disease means uncomfortable. What is the meaning of the disease? Uncomfortable. Who are the causing to the diseases? Microorganisms are causing to the diseases. What are the microorganisms already studied in the second lesson? Microorganism friend and foe. Okay. So, which of the organism we cannot see in your neck day? We can see with the help of the microscope. That is called microorganism. Five types of the microorganisms are present. One is the bacteria, viruses, fungi, algae, protozoa. These are the five classes, five organisms are known as the okay, microorganism. These are the microorganism is causing to the diseases to the plant, animal and human being. Some of the microorganisms are the useful to that plants and animal and some of the microorganisms causing to the diseases to the plants and animal. Okay. So, for example, what are the diseases caused by the uh, bacteria from the human being? Cholera, typhoid, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, okay, leprosy. So, these are the diseases is caused by that bacteria. Okay. So, what are the viral diseases can you say? Viral diseases, especially viral diseases, example, okay, so like uh, polio, okay, coronavirus, okay, measles, mumps, chicken pox. So, these are the diseases are caused by the viral diseases. So, can you say the examples of that uh, malaria, malaria, uh, protozoan diseases? So, malaria. Sleeping sickness, kala ajar, these are the diseases are caused by the protozoa phyla. Protozoa phyla. Most of the skin diseases are caused by the fungi. Is it clear? Next. Acute diseases and chronic diseases. Acute diseases and chronic diseases means some diseases last for only very short period of time. So, actually the diseases, uh, different different classification is there according to that uh, stay how much time based on that. Uh, so, these are the diseases is uh, two types of the diseases. One is the acute diseases and another one is the chronic diseases. Which of the diseases only stay in the short term? So, for example, cold, okay, cough. So, fever. So, these are the diseases only stay in that uh, some time only, few days only. But some of the diseases, uh, they can stay for a long time. For example, pneumonia, okay, diabetes, cancer. So, these are the, uh, these are the known as the chronic diseases. Chronic diseases, therefore, have a very drastic and long term effects uh, on the people's health uh, as compared to the acute disease. So, chronic means long term and acute means short term. Next one is the infective diseases. Infectious. Infectious means diseases where microbes are the immediate cause are called infectious disease. Okay. 
So these are the diseases are so spread from the one person to the another person easily. That is known as the infective diseases. Diseases where the microbes are the immediate cause are called infectious disease. Non-infective diseases. Non-infective diseases means so which of the diseases are not caused by the infectious agent. So their causes vary, but they are not external causes like microbes that can spread from the community. Instead, these are the mostly internal and non-infectious. Which of the diseases cannot spread from the one person to the another person? So that is called non-infectious, non-infectious diseases. Okay. Next, so manifestation. Manifestation means so. Some of the characteristic signs or indication in the body that appear during the sickness can help us to identify the sickness are called symptoms. The appearance of the symptoms is called actually in the diseases. First one is the infection. Infection. Second stage is the incubation. Third stage is the manifestation. Fourth stage is the termination. A infection. Which of the diseases cause to the disease that is called infection? Incubation is that uh, disease causing the organism enter in our body. They can settle down particular part. Some of them they can settle down to the lungs. Some of them they can settle down to the kidney. Some of them they can settle down to the stomach. Like uh, where they can suitable place. So they can suitable place after they can increase their number. Okay. So that suitable place is known as the incubation period. After the incubation period, they can select a particular part, particular organ, they can increase their number. So when they are increased their number, so then we can see that, uh, okay, symptoms. That the symptoms we can see in the manifestation, manifestation stage. Termination. Termination means uh, if we control the disease or kill the organism pathogen. How we can control? Two ways are present. Taking to the vaccination taking to the vaccination, then we can kill the pathogen. So that is called termination. Next, uh, immunization. So immunization, the creation of the immunity usually against particular disease, especially for the treatment as uh, by the vaccination of an organism for the purpose of making it immune to the particular pathogen. For example, so bacterial diseases, bacterial, uh, Okay, so we are taking to the antibiotics of that bacteria only. In the viral diseases, most of them there is no antiviral, but some is the function. Most of them fungal diseases, fungal antibiotics you can take. So that means that fungal antibiotics working on the fungus only, uh, fungal only. But that fungal antibiotics not working on the bacteria. Bacterial antibiotics not working on the fungal. Okay, so that means... Uh, which of the causing diseases that uh, affected organ that uh, antibiotics if you are taking control that uh, okay that is disease only the um, not other disease are you understand yes, mm. so this is the so here what is the diagram common method of the transmission of the diseases actually some of the diseases spread through the dogs. Which, which diseases spread through the dogs? Do you know rabies? Do you know rabies? Hello? Mr. A. Avinash. Rabies. Uh, Rabies disease is spread through that dog to that human being. Okay. So here see, this is a person. So shake hand. Shake hand. Actually, which of the diseases spread through that uh, personal contact infectious disease? Can you say the example? Allergy. Uh. So, for example, if uh, these are the both of them, they are kissing to each other. Is that any diseases, uh, disease causing organism present in the mouth? Uh, that disease, uh, healthy person to the infected person to the healthy person also getting to that disease. 
Next, PRC, if he is suffering from the disease, he is uh, coughing and sneezing, that microorganism enter into the air and uh, when we are breathed that healthy person, that healthy person also affected to this. Next, uh, if he is uh, suffering from the disease, if you are using to that uh, clocks to that uh, healthy person, these uh, clocks also using to that affected person, the diseases also spread from that uh, infected to the healthy person. Okay. So, here this is the milk. If you are attached to that uh, utensils, half of the glass milk, if you are drinking infected person, remaining half is drinking to the another person, healthy person, that person also affected. So, this is the diagram says that what is the methods are uh, uh, that uh, disease is spread. So, that means physical contact through the air, through the water, through the animal, through the insect. So, these are the diseases spread from the one person to the another person through the air, through the water, through the animal, through the food, through that uh, infectious person. These are the diseases spread from the one person to the another person. So, these are the scientist name what? Okay, these are the scientist name is, uh, one is the Robin Warren and uh, second one is the, uh, okay, Marshall, Marshall. So, both of the scientists, they are getting to the Nobel Prize discovery of that uh, ulcer uh, helicobacter pylori in the 2005 in the medicine department, they are got the Nobel Prize. So, this is about that. So, very, very, very important points are drink boiled, boiled water only regularly, use mosquito net, keep your surroundings neat and clean, don't leave water to stagnate, eat food when it is hot, wash your hands before eating food, wash hands after the toilet, use the toilets only, not uh, defecate in open, keep the lids on the food vessel, wash vegetables and fruits before cooking. So, these are the uh, rules and regulations everyone follow. Okay. So, this is about the our complete lesson. You have the any doubt? Here, uh, first lesson is the what is a science? Science word derived from the Latin language. Okay. Science word derived from the Latin language, that means sciencia, sciencia means knowledge, these are the knowledge we are getting from the, okay, Vedas. How many Vedas are present? Four Vedas, Rug Veda, Yajur Veda, Adarvan Veda, Sama Veda. Next, what is a science? So, science is a process of thinking, science is an organized study of the knowledge, which is based on the experimentation. Okay. Next, uh, science is a tool for searching of the truth of the nature and uh, science is a way of the exploring of the world. Okay. The fundamental step to the development of the science is the scientific, uh, scientific thinking. Okay. So, that is nothing but, uh, okay. So, the questioning is the primary and fundamental of the scientific thinking. So, this is the first lesson. In this uh, next, uh, micro or cell. So, cell is the basic unit of the life. Okay, cell is the fundamental unit of the life. Cell is the structural functional unit of the life. Cell is the building blocks of the life. Cell was discovered by the, cell was discovered by the, who discovered? Cell was discovered by Robert Hooke. Robert Cell was discovered by the Robert Hooke. Which year? 1665. 1665. Cell also derived from the Latin language. In that cell means little root. 
little room so cell was discovered by the robert hook nucleus nucleus was discovered by the robert robert brown robert brown so 1831 1831 so if you see that uh, any what is the characteristic features of the plant cell plant cell is the cell wall is present okay cell wall is present plastids are present vacuoles are present okay and centrioles are absent if you see that plant cell if you see the plant cell okay so outermost layer is called cell wall cell wall what is the semi solid my uh, semi solid homogeneous material is present this uh, semi solid homogeneous material is called cytoplasm cytoplasm so in this center that round ball like structure is present that is called nucleus that is called nucleus so in this cytoplasm remaining all the organelles are arranged so this is called uh, mitochondria mitochondria golgi bodies okay peroxisomes chloroplast okay so next all the cell organelles are present in the cytoplasm of the cell so this microscope was discovered by the anthony van leeuwenhoek anthony van leeuwenhoek so cell theory was proposed by the matthias jacob slyden and theodor swan according to the cell theory all the living organism made up of cells okay cell is the structural functional unit of the organism cell uh, all the living organism are made up of cell okay cell is the structural functional unit of the organism okay so this is about the first lesson so next uh, here based on the cells that uh, unicellular organism multicellular organism unicellular organisms means which of the organism made up of single cell is called unicellular organism so this unicellular organism is the very primitive organisms okay so bacteria is the example most of that remaining uh, algae fungi plants animals is a multicellular organism but in that uh, algae in the algae chlamydomonas chlamydomonas this chlamydomonas is a unicellular algae so almost all the fungi is the multicellular except the yeast so most of the protozoa protozoa in this protozoa especially amoeba amoeba paramecium paramecium okay paramecium and uh, euglena euglena these are the organisms also unicellular organism so in our uh, all the plants and animals is the examples of the multicellular organism so in our body largest longest cells is the nerve cell in the entire world that largest cell is the ostrich egg cell in our body largest gland is the liver longest bone is the femur bone longest cells is the nerve cell longest sense organ is the skin is it clear so this is about the first lesson next going to the second lesson second lesson microorganism this microorganism already microorganism was discovered by the anthony van leeuwenhoek with the help of the with the help of the microscope microorganism we can see with the help of the microscope only bacteria algae fungi protozoa and viruses is the examples of the microorganism in this uh, beneficial microorganisms and harmful microorganisms are <coughs> present so actually bacteria uh, bacteria staining generally we are using to the crystal violet 
crystal violet so next uh, beneficial microorganism especially do you know very well medicinal use of the microorganism antibiotic streptomycin penicillin erythromycin so these are all the examples of that uh, medicinal use next uh, antibiotics next one uh, do you know very well alexander fleming was discovered to the penicillin penicillin is the one type of the antibiotic penicillin is the abstracted from the fungi penicillium notatum okay next uh, next one is the uh, here they are given to that uh, dr ella pragada subbarao ella pragada subbarao is the wizard of the wonder drug he belongs to india he discovered to the tetracycline or erythromycin so in the second world war time most of the people they are suffering from the plague disease that time he discovered to the okay tetracycline uh, tetracycline or aromycin this is the preventer to the plague disease okay next uh, so dr jonas uh, salk is discovered to the vaccine for the polio and dr albert sabin discovered to the oral polio vaccine okay so these uh, so bt cotton bacillus thuringiensis bacillus thuringiensis so which of the diseases causing to that uh, uh, which of the organism causing to the diseases that is called pathogen female mosquito female anopheles mosquito is the carrier of that uh, okay especially for the malaria malaria is the causing by the plasmodium okay dr ronald ross uh, discovered this malaria disease okay actually he was discovered in hyderabad only he got the nobel prize in 1902 next uh, once you can uh, please uh, thoroughly read the test book okay so some of the chicken pox uh, causing to the virus mode of the transmission is the air and controlling is the vaccination and measles and mumps is caused by the virus mode of the transmission is the vi virus and uh, prevention is the vaccination so you have the test book now avinash test book 45 page number open please 44 ah so this is the, they are given see here chicken pox measles mumps polio swine flu cholera typhoid malaria dengue chikungunya and japanese encephalitis these are the disease name who are the causing to the uh, organism that is bacteria virus or uh, uh, like most of them uh, most of them uh, viral diseases only except the cholera typhoid and malaria so the remaining all the diseases is caused by the viruses so most of the diseases uh, spread through the air and water only okay we can controlling to that uh, we are taking to the against of the vaccination then we can control to the diseases okay so that uh, so plant diseases also is there see citrus canker this citrus canker is caused by the bacteria mode of the transmission is the air and uh, so actually black spots we can see in that citrus plant and red dot of sugar cane this is caused by the fungi this is also spread through the air and seedling next third point uh, tick or diseases in the groundnut this is also caused by the fungi mode of the transmission air and seeds and tobacco mosaic virus so this is caused by the tobacco mosaic virus so most of them this is caused by the insect okay here clostridium botulism botulinum clostridium botulinum most of the food poisonings is caused by the clostridium botulinum this is the bacteria is the responsible for the food poisoning okay so uh, food preservation louis pocher discovered to the pocherization so this is about the second lesson next uh, reproduction in the animals reproduction in the animal already you are studied ov paras vv para okay next hydra budding 
binary epigen and uh, sexual reproduction in the plant, sexual reproduction in the animal, once everything you can study carefully, okay, uh, very important questions only we are given, once you can attempt tomorrow exam, okay, prepare well for, uh, prepare for the exams, all the best, okay, thank you, I can close the session, okay, any doubt regarding, okay, please tomorrow you have the exam, okay, thank you, your brother uh, for not, uh, but uh, 7th, 8th you have tomorrow exam, 9th next week. Shall, shall I close the session? Shall I close the session? Uh, Maths 20, Physics 10, Chemistry 10, Biology 10. 50 marks. Ah, 50 marks. Okay, thank you, Nana.